We have the Emperor in reverse, some Aries energy, also the timing of Aries, so April just gone could have been important for you. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, I feel um, this person's on a timeout. Yeah, Ten of Cups reversed. I feel that um, Spirit wants you to know that your person is not particularly happy right now, not in terms of you and your connection, actually outside of your connection. Um, something's going on for them. There's a way in which they've been put on a time out. And I say they have been put on a time out because it doesn't seem like they're embracing it. Um, okay, the Emperor in reverse. I'm looking at this as your person in terms of their responsibilities, work, daily tasks, it's reversed. And then we get the Three of Cups reversed. So it's almost like spirit has put them into hermit mode maybe they physically can't work at the moment maybe they've had to go somewhere that's taken them away from work and family and friends but there's a feeling of isolation not just in terms of i can't carry out my daily tasks and responsibilities that i normally would but also where are the, the people i socialize with or see where are the people whose company i enjoy then we've got the seven of pentacles and we know that's a card of waiting but look at this depiction um he's jumped off the ledge his wings have come off, he's reaching for money. So there's a feeling of desperation. I want to get back to my life. I want to get back to work. I want to have my freedom back. I want to get out there, but it's not time. If your person tries to push it too quickly, look, they're just gonna fall and burn in this lake of fire down here, but there could be concerns about finances, practicalities, you know, that sort of thing. I've got to get back to being the emperor and I've got to take care of things. Then we've got the Ten of Cups reversed. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me, that wasn't me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll burn in a lake of fire, her heart, no. Um, just sort of doing a weird cough. Ten of Cups reversed, they're not happy. Um, wow, okay, so let's see, what else is going on? Queen of Wands, wow. Do you know who's keeping them motivated and inspired during this time? You are. Something's coming through about, uh, what's that, sport? Um, not tennis badminton so <laughs> i don't know if someone plays badminton or if you play badminton and they watch or something like that i don't know but um these little what are they ghost things i don't know are making me think of those um what are they called shuttlecocks have i made that up i don't know but badminton anyway okay so you the queen of wands i feel that they are watching you they might see you being very um very much in demand they feel that you are st uh, stable grounded which you know i think because they've been put on this time out it's giving them more time to be reflective even if they didn't initially want that and they're seeing qualities in you that they themselves believe that they have and it's only serving to increase their admiration and attraction to you so you're coming across as very stable so this is someone who themselves considers themselves to be very grounded very stable very reliable and i, I think that's probably true with the emperor coming up um, so very earthy qualities, regardless of whether they're an earth sign, you are or not, just very grounded, you know, so they see that in you, they see you as being confident, I'm hearing the word pizzazz, I don't, I don't, maybe they think you've got pizzazz or something, or you dazzle people, but there are eyes on you, you are fiery, you are stable, you are successful, you are nurturing, compassionate, um, and they seem to be doing a lot of, spending a lot of time right now thinking about you or watching you. We've got the tower in the reverse, Scorpio here, energy. So um, yeah, I think something's happened that they didn't uh, seek out and it's putting them on a timeout. Knight of Pentacles reversed, exactly. Look at this, Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Your person might be in this timeout for a good while. Um, much, much longer than they would like. Knight of Pentacles reversed is absolutely no movement. And in fact, you know, they might even feel like Seven of Pentacles, things slow down. There might come a point in the future where your person's just tearing their hair out because it's almost like, well, now things have come to a stop. And I'm seeing no movement, no progress. And then we have the Priestess, High Priestess reversed. Um, ooh, this is very divinely guided. They are being, okay. Your person has the chance here to change their life around and come out the other side completely in alignment with the highest and best path and very, very happy, happier than they have been maybe ever. The question is, will they have the guts? Will they have the courage? Ooh, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Okay. 
Yep, Six of Swords reversed. So what are they going to do? Are they going to move forward or are they going to go back to something that's stagnant, dead, painful, unfulfilling, lonely? We have the King of Wands. Mm -mm. See, King and Queen of Wands. I believe you are part of this new future opportunity. And then we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. So they could be concerned primarily about a child, regardless of how young or old this child is. Um, Page of Pentacles reversed. Maybe they feel they would... They, mm. they could be worried. Okay, if I make this transition... Oh, my cat's brought in a mouse. Hold on. That's interesting. So I was just about to say, if they make this transition, they might feel that they can't take all of their wealth, all of their, um, maybe their property, whatever it is they have with them. I mean, again, look at these coins going down into the lake. And it's not that, you know, the message we're used to hearing, oh, they're staying in such and such a place because they want to keep hold of, you know, their material goods. It's not that, actually. It's that they don't want to come towards you empty-handed. Look at this person here, this king of wands so we have a matching pair queen of wands king of wands now it's not really possible to tell the age roughly of the queen of wands because she's embedded in a tree but the king of wands looks like he's had a lifetime here to um build to grow and this person might feel that if they come towards you empty-handed it's an embarrassment um, and I'm not saying it is, but that's their opinion because they look at themselves as being an emperor. They are supposed to be successful, a provider. They are supposed to have something to show for themselves. So coming towards you with nothing, that that's like almost physically sickening to them. They, they wouldn't do that. That's not something they could do. So that's a concern for them as well. Um, clarify the Six of Swords, please. Eight of Swords. So, oh look, we've got a bat. So this is really happening right now. I mean, this is a timeless reading, but if you are watching this when um, I'm publishing it, it's just before pretty much Halloween. So this is all going on, you know, as we speak. But um, I mean, if you're watching this after Halloween, I would say it's their thoughts. Their thoughts that are sort of scaring them at this time. Eight of Swords. I think they understand. I think this person understands. They This is a chance for them to have a whole new life once they come out of whatever's going on over here. Um, but it's like, how? Can I really do this? Do I, do I really have the courage? Can I really figure the, out the practical necessities here? One thing I will say is they do seem to be assuming that you maybe feel the same about them. Um, I'm not sure if you do or not. Let's see. Oh, the devil. Okay. Well, we've got Capricorn energy there. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's see how you feel about this person. The Knight of Swords and the Hermit, Virgo. Okay. Well, um, you, I would say yes, you feel a strong connection to this person. I feel at the moment you might actually be a bit cross with them. You might be annoyed if they ghosted you or you haven't heard from them. Um, you might feel that you've got some things you need to say or that you need to hear from them. So I think you probably do, you know, feel maybe how they're assuming, but the first thing is you've got to clear the air with them and you might feel like they've exhibited some really low vibrational behaviours that have not left you feeling good and you're not happy about that. Um, one thing I will say is if this hermit mode has happened recently, I do think it's out of their control, but I, f I feel like this here, the feelings you have with them is not about just what's happened recently. It might be something you've seen over a longer period of time, months, years, that sort of thing. Um, okay, so let's just see what's what's happened here with the Emperor in reverse. What's going on for them? And of course, you know, this is going to be different for each of you. We have the moon. So yeah, something they didn't see coming, something unexpected, something, to be honest, I think it's something on some level they were asking for. So let's say, um, let's say there's someone who is saying, my job is killing me, you know, it takes me all around the world, which sounds glamorous, but I'm exhausted, I'm always in different time zones, 
I'm always jet lagged, I never see, you know, my friends, family, whatever. So on some level, even if they're not saying the words, they're basically asking for release from that job. You know, so then surprise, they get fired, didn't see it coming, but on some level, level they've manifested that, you know? So for some of you, it's possible that your person has actually manifested whatever this tower situation is, um, but not directly. You know, if, if you said that to them, they would be like, that's ridiculous. Of course, I wouldn't want this to happen, but there's no denying it has removed them in, in one way or another from situations that maybe they weren't happy in. Um, the moon can also bring up fear. So it's it's an opportunity to face their fears. But yeah, something, something that's knocked them sideways. They did not see it coming. Yep, yeah, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so yes, money again, home, stability, family, work, something that's like in, um, you know, a, a core part of their life, something they probably spend many hours every day doing. I'm just looking at these markings on her. Um, for some of you, I don't know how many this will resonate with, maybe your person has found themselves in prison. For others, someone could be in hospital. I'm noticing this broken bone. I'm noticing the apple as well. Maybe somebody succumbed, succumbed, is that right? To temptation. Um, and that's got them in some trouble somehow. So I'm seeing several different things, but um, regardless, I feel whatever happened it was divinely guided. We've got the six of wands reversed, so it's, it's really knocked their pride, their ego. Um, so spirits sort of come in and, and wiped out whatever was holding them back in an egoic sense. So let's say that example of a person who cannot stand their career, it's running them into the ground, but they don't want to give it up because it brings in good money, it's stable, but also they get recognition, um, they have maybe a high position and people look at them and say, wow, you're an amazing provider. And they really get a sense of identity from that, you know, and um, they feel really good about themselves for that. Well, that's gone now. You know, that's, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. And it might feel very cruel, but spirit's saying, but that wasn't the entirety of who you are. That was you limiting yourself. Who are you outside of that role of being, you know, of working, of being this or of that? This is a chance for you to grow and be seen for other aspects of yourself. Um, and also, you know, so it's a cool thing to realize, but if something like that happens and then people fall away or they seem not to stay in touch or they're not interested, well, were they ever seeing you? Were they ever interested in you or only what you could provide or how you made them look by being in connection with, you know, that sort of thing. We have the two of cups, we have the six of cups and we have the four of cups. There we go. It's all about connecting to what matters, cups being emotions, you know, two of cups, six of cups, we've got big soul connection cards there, and then the four of cups, are you going to take this opportunity or not? So something has happened here, um, and it's, as I said, it's giving your person an opportunity to move forward in a new way, to have a new life, to embrace new aspects of themselves, and live those proudly, and you are involved in this, because I think um, one of the things they would want to do is reach for this connection with you. But the thing is, they have got to go for it. Four of Cups, they can sit there and moan and say, I'm not happy with my lot in life. Or they can say, you know what, I'm being offered a fourth option. Um, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to reach for that cup. Um, so, okay. see if there's anything else with this second deck and then we'll finish off with a couple of messages for you from spirit another thing to say is actually remember how i said earlier that um you're you are a, 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 i don't want to say a source of entertainment that sounds very callous but as in i do think they're watching you and i think you're giving them hope inspiration entertainment they're admiring you their feelings are getting stronger and stronger for you um I, with the devil i mean i do wonder if it's it's a bit of like an obsession watching you right now especially if they feel that the thing they would usually occupy a lot of their time with is something they can't do 
and I don't know how aware you are of this because as the queen of wands you know woman man male female you're very busy you're doing a lot so you might know it or suspect it but at the same time I'm not sure how much you dwell on the fact okay anything else here that my viewers need to know please We have the sun reversed, Leo energy there. We oh, we've got the ace of pentacles reversed, the five of swords reversed. Okay. So potentially there is a tangible offer coming in. Um, what's this five of swords about? Six of pentacles, okay. King of Swords, whoops, we have the Four Reversed, Aries, Aquarius, and we have the Three of Swords. Okay, for a good many of you, I think this person is going to take this um, opportunity, this leap, they are going to be brave, and they're going to come forward and offer you something. When they do this, other people, probably around them, um, are not, these people aren't going to be happy. So let's say your person comes forward, offers you something, their friends or whoever it is, or family are like, what, what do you mean you offered such and such to them? And they're, they're not gonna be happy about it um, because your person here might be offering you something they, that they want or they don't want to share. Um, so just know someone else might speak up, someone else might say something because it's, they have an interest they have a um yeah they're invested basically in your person not making this change not reaching out to you not offering to you so yes there is this there's a sun ace of pentacles and i feel like you should take this opportunity if you want it i think both you and this person would be very happy about it but just know there are going to be some grumbly people on the sidelines um who start acting up i don't know if that concerns you or not um i'm not seeing a hugely concerning message here i'm seeing maybe an argument or a bit of like gossiping or being a bit nasty but nothing that's going to sort of take you out you know um which tells me it's probably something quite significant then that this person's offering let's see ace of pentacles i mean we know it's a pentacle so it's something other people can see because it's manifested ten of pentacles reversed well in some cases yeah it's quite big it's this person saying i'm leaving my wife husband partner um to be with you so obviously the ex then will not be happy about that but you know whoops we have the ten of swords yeah this is this is your person going through an ending and, and basically wanting a new start with you three of wands reversed so i think uh, whoever is moaning is moaning because of money, shared property, oh, what would our friends and family say, you know, that sort of thing. Um, if it's not that they're connected to anyone romantically, it could be their uh, parents, siblings, thinking it's not a sensible investment or decision to come towards you. It could be that they're trying to leave a job and the, you know, work is saying, um, you know, we need you, you can't just step out right now, you're in the middle of this, that and the other. Um, but it, look, no cups is what I'm saying. It's about, it's about material things. I want this from you. I want my share. I need you to keep doing this because it works for me. So I would, you know, just ignore that, that whoever's moaning is not coming from a place of the, you know, the highest and best good of all. It's how dare you take such and such away from me. I deserve that. I deserve to keep having whatever I've been getting from you okay so let's finish up with uh, a few of these let's have three I think unless spirit has plans otherwise okay Um, the power of the universe shines within me. Okay, so if you're feeling disempowered in any way, or you want a little boost if you're manifesting, that's something nice to say to yourself. The power of the universe shines within me. I awaken the limitless love within me. I am abundant. Okay. And we have, I celebrate my differences. I am free from conformity. Wow, so this is, maybe some of you need a little sort of like boost in terms of feeling empowered and celebrating your um, uniqueness here. These are all very sort of like um, 
like uh, what, what are they called affirmations that you could say i celebrate my differences i am free from conformity and yeah you know especially if you've been feeling like you're not fitting in or your life path is taking you down a route that you've not recognized the people around you um taking or you might be feeling like oh, i should have hit this milestone or this one by now um but if you sit and really ask yourself it's not even a milestone that's perhaps interesting to you you know so um yeah this to me feels like spirit saying you might be showing up differently to those around you in the world and that's good that's powerful that's your own kind of power there and um it doesn't mean you you have less or you have less to give you're just doing things your own way and um you know there's there's success and power within that okay so um I'm going to leave this here, but I've just got one more thing to say. I've noticed this King of Wands, one of his arms is a sword. So yes, your person really has something that they want to say to you. They do want to talk to you. Um, okay. <laughs> he's got eyes in his legs. So his legs are taking him wherever he's looking. And what he's looking at is you, for sure. And I say he because, you know, it's a man on here. But of course, your person can be a man or a woman. Woman. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon. Please let me know your, your um, thoughts, comments, and you know any video ideas or suggestions, topics you'd like to see in the comments. And um, I will see you soon. Bye.